It has been reported that well over 5 million students in the U.S. are enrolled in some form of online education, equaling about one quarter of total enrollment. I'm Eric Clemens for Comcast Newsmakers here on campus at Champlain College in Burlington, Vermont. Academic Dean for Online Continuing and Professional Education, Dr. Mika Nash, joins me now. Dr. Nash, welcome to the program. Hi there. As of the 2015 academic year, Champlain College has more than 2,000 students enrolled in online programs. Can you talk a little bit about the typical online student? Sure. So the typical online student, when we're talking about the adult student, which is a student that we work with, is a student who is seeking an opportunity to change things in their lives. So often something big has happened. There might have been a family change or a workplace um, change, and they're looking for a promotion or um, something that will enable them to support families, that sort of thing. Um, our adult students really run the gamut between students who have almost no education to speak of, so no transcripts that they would bring in with transfer credits, to those students who have uh, up to 90 credits that could come in the form of transcripts or um, life experience or certificates that they've received. And all of them are, are looking for sort of the next step, and that's what we provide to them. Is there a different approach to teaching a more mature student body? There is. So where a traditional student, which is typically one that's 18 to 22 years old, might come in and be very comfortable with sort of a more passive learning environment where they're given facts and figures and information and they, they take it down and then they sort of spit it back to mm -hmm. the teacher in an objective test. Um, an adult student brings an understanding of the world, a sort of more foundational knowledge, and what they are seeking is um, ways to apply the information that they've learned to real life. Um, and so what we try and do is give them theory and concepts that they can take into their workplace. And then what they've experienced as they're in the workplace, they bring that back into the classroom. And so there's this constant sort of information loop that's happening. And um, students are able to very quickly become contributors to their workplace and feel like uh, there's value immediately. How does the college's online continuing professional studies division align itself more closely with the 21st century workplace needs and local employers? So what we've done is we've created a relationship um, model where we're working with uh, organizations to figure out what are their needs, what are their skills gaps, and how can we meet students or meet their employees uh, where they are. And so um, as they notice that there are there are issues like cybersecurity is a big is a big mm -hmm. problem. There are all these breaches happening right now. We work to ensure that we have programs and certificates and so forth, classes that will that will be able to get students to a place where they can um, respond to or meet those skills gaps. Yeah, it takes you, us to the next question. You offer sixty uh, degree and certification programs. Can you talk about some other uh, of these programs as well? Sure. So the most popular ones, as often in, in most adult uh, experiences, are, are business programs. So our undergraduate business and accounting are very popular. Our MBA, our um, master's degree in executive leadership. And then we have very important programs for us. Our cybersecurity and digital forensics programs are also meeting those needs for students. Tell us, where do you see the future of online education going as you look into the crystal ball, so to speak? Sure. So I think that what Champlain College is doing is really the future of online education. There are a number of ways that we're responding to student needs, employers' needs that are, that are cutting edge. We have a, a, an advanced quality control process. We have uh, content that is immediately useful and relevant for students. and um, and I, I think that the way in which we use multimedia, the way in which we are so relevant, so current, that's, that's where online education is going in the future. So if you want to experience the future of online education, I think Champlain College is where you would want to be. All right, Dr. Mika Nash, thanks so much for being with us on the program. Thank you. All right, and thank you for watching this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Eric Clemens. We'll see you next time.